So welcome to uh, a, a slightly uh, special version of AI Insights with John Rose, and we'll call it myth busting. Um, one of the things we've discovered as we've talked about AI is there are a lot of kind of preconceived notions about what's going on in the AI world that are creating confusion. And so I'm going to do my best to you know, call a few of them out real quickly and help you, you know, maybe dispel some myths. Um, so the one I want to talk about today is something I've heard from many customers recently, which is as they're thinking about their AI journey, they look at all of the innovation happening in the hardware world. Specifically, uh, you know, every six months there's a new GPU architecture and the technology is just moving so fast that they actually feel like, I can't possibly manage that, therefore I shouldn't own infrastructure. I should not have any of it, anything to do with it. I just consume it, let somebody else deal with this churn. Well, the myth is that if you were building a training infrastructure, a Colossus, you absolutely have to be at the state of the art all the time, otherwise you're going to fall behind. You, as enterprise, are not doing that. You are inferencing in your enterprise, targeting AI on specific business processes that once they are done better by that AI system, you leave them alone and let them just run and produce ROI. I'll give you an example. If you were all out a coding assistant today, regardless of which one you choose, if you do it in an environment that you provide the infrastructure, I will tell you that at best you're going to need maybe half a dozen or a dozen GPUs. Those GPUs could absolutely be A100s, H100s, L40Ss. They will work just fine. And they will be able to support potentially tens of thousands of developers. And whatever you put in place, once you turn it on, you will pretty much leave it alone for its life cycle. And that life cycle will probably be several years long. So punchline is, look, GPU evolution is critical for one industry, the training market and the, the, the large-scale clusters. For the enterprise, of course you should put in the state of the art when you deploy the technology. But once you have the use case in production, you do not need to change the GPUs while it's running because what you designed for it to actually put it into production in the first place was perfectly capable of delivering the outcome, and you should use it for the longest time frame necessary, usually a couple of years, and ultimately get the ROI out of it. So that's the myth. Uh, GPUs are important, but you do not need to be on the treadmill, which means you can put them into your own environment, you can maximize the ROI, you can deploy them as CapEx, and all of those things are great in terms of maximizing the value of an AI system. Don't pause, don't get confused, don't listen to other people. As I've said before, the only bad AI project against a meaningful, pro a meaningful process that could be improved is one that never goes into production.